Good morning everybody, welcome to Motivational Monday. In this video, we are gonna talk about knowing yourself, knowing your details, and why nobody will listen to you if you don't. So just quickly, next week, we're also gonna talk about when the going gets tough, you get tougher. So if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do, because it's gonna be of great interest to you and what it is you can do to take those steps into creating your dream life, or your lusher life, as I call it. So good morning, I hope you're all well. It's the start of a brand new week. I think the majority of people are probably back to work now after the Christmas break and I hope it's all going in the right direction, flowing downstream and feeling as though you're light and bright and breezy. Now I've been doing a lot of work recently reading The Greatest Secret, which was recommended to me by my lovely friend, so thank you for that. Um, in there, it gives us an awful lot of information about embracing the negative things and just allowing them to pass by as if they're a cloud in the sky and knowing that it's leading us to greater things and better things and onto a place of I don't know I want to say enlightenment but the book doesn't say that but that's what I'm saying um, and I'm allowed to because this is my channel so if you if you have your details and your self-knowledge and your whole story about yourself really scatty and not clear, people are going to stop listening to you. Now, let me give you an example of this. If I was making a recipe on this channel and I was filming and I was saying to you, well, I'm not really sure what the ingredients are and I don't know about how long it should be in the oven and I'm actually not that clear on temperatures and I really don't know how this might turn out, you're going to think, geez, what am I listening to her for? She hasn't got a clue. So therefore, there's nothing in it for you because you're going to be left confused and you're not going to be able to figure out what it is I'm talking about. So know your creed. Now your creed is like a, it's in a more an American word than it is an English word, but it basically means who you are, what you stand for, who's your tribe that's going to tune into that as well. Because whether that be friends, loved ones, your work colleagues, you know, you need to make your tribe fit your creed. And if you don't, there'll be a, a, a rough, a, a sort of, I don't know, what would you call that? A friction, I guess, some sort of friction. Um, and that's with everybody you meet in life. Now, that doesn't mean everybody's got to agree with everything that you say, but what they have got to think is, going back to my cooking channel here for a minute, which I used to pretend when I was a little girl, I used to be in, my mum and dad had this big mirror on their wall in the kitchen, and um, I used to be there, and I'd be pr pretending, I'd mix something up, and I'd always say, da da da, just like so, because that's how they seem to do it on the TV. How funny. Um, so... If I was on a, if I was cooking, I can't remember where I was going to go now, I've told you that story. There you go, see, now you're thinking, oh God, scattered brain. Um, but yeah, so basically if you know, that's it, we were saying about not um, agreeing with everything that you say. You might not agree with everything that you, that, that person says or um, <clears throat> learn something from it particularly that you want to bring into your own life. But what you will do is respect it. You'll think, okay. So that's her belief, that's her notion, that's her, where she's at. And I might not agree with that because that's not the way that I operate, but that's got to be completely fine because that's who you are, that's who they are, and somewhere in the middle, you might find some common ground where you'll meet. And if you don't, then that's going to take a natural progression to just go in the opposite direction. So without knowing yourself and without having the beliefs in your creed, it's going to be confusing for people. So know what it is. What's my title? Hang on. You must believe in yourself. So you can't sort of stand up with these beliefs and say, hmm, so I've got this belief, but I don't know. You could quite easily sway me the other way. No, it's your belief and you're entitled to own that and you believe it. OK, so know yourself. Stand up for your creed. People will flock to you who are the right people. So I get asked this all the time about, you know, online social media stuff and who should my audience be? Um, basically, your audience should be those who who are going to get something from your creed. Do you know what I mean by creed? So it's kind of like your, um, I don't know. So I'm very open to believing all sorts of spirituality sort of stuff. So I'd be really interested to speak to anybody from like any religion because I think they've all got something, some interesting stories to tell. And um, I started to learn a little bit about the Quran years ago. And that was really interesting because 
some of the stories there I was like wow that's quite mind-blowing and so you know it isn't necessarily about somebody tuning into a particular religion or a particular something it's about somebody being in tune and so for me I believe that there's some interesting stories out there there's more to this life than we know and I'm happy to listen to anybody even if their ideas are completely different to mine do you know what I mean so I mean, I might not agree with it. There's a whole debate. Everybody's having this debate at the minute about the vaccine and the situation out there. Should we be in lockdown or shouldn't we? And everyone is entitled to their own opinions. I've got mine. I might be happy to listen to theirs and maybe have a debate about it. But if they're saying this is absolutely 100% the right way and your way is the wrong way, friction again. So just bear that in mind. Stand in the skin of who you are. Know your belief know your ingredients, know your cooking time, know what the outcome's going to be. You're going to remember that. Actually, I've just made that up on the spot, but I'm going to remember that as well. So put into it what needs to make the best outcome. Make sure that you cook it for the correct amount of time. Do you know what I mean? It's just like life, isn't it? You need to make these things happen in the right order with the right ingredients for it to be clear on what the outcome is. And I've just baked in my mind this gorgeous lemon cake with lemon slices on the top and it's perfect. Maybe I'll do that for you. So like I say, next week's video, when the going gets tough, you get tougher. And I'm going to tell you about my twin story. The reason is they're going to be turning 21 really, really soon. And that story is so inspiring. And this is my one book that I cannot wait to get out there. Maybe I'll do it this year, I don't know. But I do need to focus and I do need to get loads of other stuff done as well. But it will be coming. And that is such a story that you're going to be inspired by and motivated by. And know that you yourself can go through something that you think, oh my God, this is so rough. This is so tough. But you've got it in you. You dig it out, you get tougher and you carry on through. And what's waiting on the other side is always something better. Always. You tell me a time that that wasn't true. Anyway, wishing you a wonderful Monday. I hope you have a great week. I've got a very challenging week coming up. Keep your fingers crossed for me. And, um, well, you, you guys know. If you're still watching this far into the video, you've seen my story. I've got to have my surgery this week. So, um, lots of luck to me. And I know you're all behind me. So, thank you for that in advance. And I will see you next Monday for when the going gets tough, you get tougher. Take care. Lots of love from me.